What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and welcome to the most incredible penthouse in the world. We're at the Central Park Tower in the heart of New York City with a beautiful panoramic view, 1400 feet in the sky. And I wanna give a huge thanks to Extel Developments and Sirhan for giving me the opportunity to show you guys around this incredible place because as a lover of real estate and interior, this is the most incredible property that we've had the opportunity to check out today. We're starting the video in the Grand Salon and it's got a cornering view of New York City with Central Park in front of me, the Empire State behind, and a view of Brooklyn right across the water. And as someone who's gone on a helicopter a few times in New York City, this is actually higher than where the helicopters fly and you are living in the view. And all this is priced at $250 million. This unit features over 17,400 square feet of living space spanned across seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms. This building has a roof height of over 1,500 feet, which is the tallest in New York City, just short of the One World Trade Center measured at the top of its spire. In a city where everything is large, this really just takes things to the next level. So as you walk into the unit, you're greeted by the Grand Salon. It's over 3,000 square feet, and the ceilings are 27 feet high with 12 foot windows, and it's got the panoramic view of New York City as you look across to Brooklyn. You've got almost an entire view of Central Park right in front of me, and you've also got the New York Empire State Building towards the right side here. This is just a great place to be able to entertain, and you can see that they built different zones that are so beautifully staged by IMG with some custom pieces by Studio 27. What I love about the furniture here is that it really lets you enjoy the view and the picture-perfect backdrop that you have of New York. It doesn't try to say too much, it doesn't draw your eye to different places, it is just so cozy and minimal while nicely rounded out to be able to appreciate the corners from behind but also just like sit down and relax. We had a beautiful view of the sunrise and just imagine waking up to this view every single day, looking outside and just almost seeing the curvature of the earth from this height. On some days you might even see the clouds floating below you and that is just what makes it so special to be over 1400 feet up in the sky. Along with all the staging, the art has also been carefully curated by Natasha Roberts. And in this grand salon, we have a piece by Vicky Berengue. This is one that just adds a lot of color to the room and goes incredibly well with the muted paint tones that add some levels of contrast to the space, but are very warm and comforting tones that go very well with the drapes and the carpet that they've added. With the tall windows letting so much light in, having this contrast in the paint just allows the room to feel cozy at the same time as you look out of the panoramic view of this facet of the building. So right next to the Grand Salon, here we are in the conservatory leading into the beautiful home office. It features furniture from Studio 27 that also nicely rounds out the corner similar to the Grand Salon, but it also has a nice warmth and light to it made by Cameron Design. It is a custom interconnected light that just gives you like a very cozy place to take your conference calls, have your morning coffee for example, and just enjoy this quiet view away from the large saloon. If you just want to have some time to yourself this is the place to do it. But of course, you guys have watched the channel for a while and you know desk setups are a big part of it. So what is a home office like in a $250 million condo? It is right behind me. And what I love about it is that it has these very dark tones to it. And a unit that lets so much light in, I love seeing units really embrace that level of contrast. And you can see right here, you have this grand table that has been imported from Brazil that has a very unique shape to it that I mean, sitting in this chair, even though I'm not the tallest, you could just see for scale how big this office is. From here, you have a view out of the conservatory and seeing some of the other tall buildings and skyscrapers in New York. But as you look up to this side, you've got a straight line view of Central Park. So adding to all the exquisite details of this unit, the wall treatment is actually a metallic cork finish. In the daytime, it has a very muted and dark look, but at night, it actually reflects all of the light and buildings from New York City to have a bit of a glistening look that has a different characteristic depending on the time of day. And I think that's what makes it so special. 
so this room is one that I absolutely love as well. I mean, every corner of this penthouse that you visit just has so many unique details to it and character. And here you have a cornering view of Central Park, the Upper West Side, as well as the Hudson River. This is sort of one that you could use as a home office or a den, but the way it's set up right now is as a very intimate theater. They're able to just watch TV, maybe watch some sports as well. But what I love about it is that the corner view is just beautiful. As someone who loves tech, one touch that has been inspired by the Sirhan house in Soho is the Bang & Olufsen TV. This is one that I've wanted to check out and actually haven't seen in person before. And it has the best sound with the best OLED TV, and it essentially folds open to give you the best of both worlds when you turn it on. With a place like this, it is built to entertain. And before we make our way to the private ballroom and terrace, let's take a look at the dining room. And here we are at the other corner of the unit. And the way they've built it is that multiple rooms are able to enjoy the beautiful corner panoramic view of New York City. When it comes to some of the finishings here, what really stood out to me is the geometric lights by Gabriel Scott. I love how these like hang across and have all these different shapes as light kind of bounces off the different angles to kind of represent the amount of different dimensions that you have when it comes to the view of the Central Park Tower penthouse. These are some highly coveted chairs by Adrian Pearsall. And of course, the centerpiece is this huge panda marble table also imported from Brazil. So now taking a look at the kitchen, you're able to enjoy the morning skylight as you're having your coffee and making your breakfast. It's got all German appliances and the best material when it comes to the wood, the finishes and tech all combined within the space right here. There's a full commercial grade kitchen actually upstairs where the private ballroom is located for all your catering and hosting needs. I love the marble finishes and the gloss black appliances and the way that multiple pieces have also been seamlessly integrated in. So the Eden Kitchen is one that you can just have a nice family dinner or just sit down and have your breakfast, but this is all about geometrics when it comes to the interior design. The white floors really reflect the light nicely, and as the ceiling raises all the way up, you have probably the best view of all of the New York skylines from this room specifically. You've got the clear view of the Empire State, Times Square is just right there, and you've also got the Hudson River over here. Some of the details include this beautiful wallpaper finish that represents the clouds that you might actually see hanging below you in some mornings. I also love how this table has a very organic and geometric shape that we don't feel confined. There is no bad seat in the house. You can literally sit anywhere and be able to appreciate that Manhattan skyline from anywhere in this room. So that was a really exciting tour of the first floor, but we still have two more to cover. And this staircase that we're standing on right now is a work of art of its own. I know we've talked a lot about art today and all of the beautiful original pieces, but this dynamic staircase is custom sculpted and it spans 50 feet on the 129th, 130th, and 131st floor, covering all three floors of the penthouse. Of course, you have the option to take the elevator, but I mean, as you go up the staircase, you're in the corner and have this beautiful view. I mean, it's one occasion where I'd probably rather take the stairs. So let's go ahead and check it out. So as you come to the stairs of the second floor of the penthouse, you have your own wing for the primary suite. Here you have a room where you have this corner view that you could turn into anything that you imagine, whether it is an office, a dressing area, or just a place to have a small home gym even. I mean, as you sit down here, you have like your own privacy and looking at the view, just like we've talked about throughout this tour, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm running out of words to be able to describe how beautiful this view is, especially to wake up to. So let's go ahead and check out the bedroom. So what I love so much about this primary suite is that it is so cozy. It isn't one that makes you feel like it's too big to the point where you don't really know where to go. You have the perfect amount of space around the bed with all of its custom finishes and this beautiful couch that rounds out right here where you can just kind of hang out and I mean, again, look out the window and enjoy the beautiful view of Central Park. I mean, imagine waking up to this every single day, just getting out of bed um, and just standing right here as the sun rises, being right in the center of New York City.
So what might the amenities look like in the Central Park Tower, you might ask? The state-of-the-art facilities is what Exhill Developments named the Central Park Club. It boasts over 50,000 square feet of lavish amenities, including a residence lounge, a screening room, a 60-foot long outdoor swimming pool, a private park, and fine dining options. The terrace pool and sun deck is just a beautiful outdoor haven in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. It is just such a beautiful place to unwind and relax in the heart of the busy city. And as you walk into the living room residence lounge, there's billiards tables to be able to entertain and hang out with your friends, as well as a dramatic screening room to be able to watch your favorite sports game or movie in a theater setting. This all outlooks into the terrace or the pool side. And as you're going to notice with the amenity suite that spans three floors in the Central Park Tower, every single detail has been considered. Fitness and wellness is also an incredibly important aspect of the Central Park Club. And you're going to find a mini basketball court and squash court, a large and private indoor pool and spa, as well as a sauna. The High Tech Fitness Center also features state-of-the-art variety of equipment, so you literally don't have to leave the building. Everything you need from a recreation and relaxation standpoint is all within. Moving a thousand feet above New York Central Park, you have the world's highest private park. This features a collective of Michelin star dining experiences, and it's all overseen by lifestyle director Colin Cowie. You've also got a wine cellar and a cigar humidor, making the pinnacle of the Central Park Club the highest grand ballroom and private restaurant ever built in New York City. So now we're at the third floor of the penthouse where you have arguably one of the most imaginative spaces in New York City. This is a 2,500 square foot private ballroom and terrace and it's the highest of its kind in the world. The way they've left it open here is so that you can imagine what you want this space to be. You might want to have different tables and different events where you can have your friends over, maybe host any private events here, or in my case, if I was to come up with this kind of money, maybe put a ton of desks here and run your entire YouTube channel from this ballroom. I mean, you could literally do anything possible. Some of the ideas could even include a giant projector on the wall and be able to watch some sports while you appreciate this huge skyline in the background. Outside of the Grand Salon, it is the biggest room in this unit, but just with this open space, you have so much room for activities to really put whatever you want in it. So here we are in the breathtaking rooftop terrace that gives you over 1,400 square feet to have stuff like maybe a putting green or have an area just to be able to chill out. But there are a few different details to talk about. First off, these panes of glass are very high and they're all triple layered. Being so high up in the air, I mean the first of its kind, there were a lot of different engineering feats that had to be achieved to have the highest private terrace in the world just next to the ballroom. It's so cold up here that you even have a bit of snow that has been left over from last week. So, I mean, as we walk around here, just like the ballroom, you can just imagine what you wanna do with this rooftop. So I've been to New York quite a few times now and are finally getting to know where each major landmark is and you can identify each and every one from this part of the terrace. You've got the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, One World Trade Center over there, Times Square below us, the Hudson River. You can even see Newark Airport over there. You have JFK and LaGuardia, Billionaires Row, Central Park. I mean, this is a view that it's just absolutely unbeatable and it's one of the kind and with New York City being one of the most beautiful incredible cities in the world that's sort of what comes with the price tag you get a view that nobody will ever have and a view that is preserved and unobstructed forever so there you have it a tour of the most incredible condo in the world 17,000 square feet of living space 1400 feet in the sky and we've taken a look at many of the key points of this incredible unit as well as the exquisite details when it comes to wallpaper, furnishings and original art. I mean, 
This place is just stunning. I always love visiting the rooftops of New York City and having a view of the city, but to see a condo that you could buy if you have a quarter billion dollars has been a surreal experience. And I wanna give a huge thanks to Sirhand and Excel for giving us the opportunity to tour this space. And I'm gonna leave a link down below if you want to learn more. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.